Welkom bij een nieuwe aflevering van de Trident Podcast. Um, kleine side note, deze aflevering zal in het Engels zijn omdat wij uh, Franse gasten hebben. Dus um, ik zal de introductie hier doen. I'll start with a French introduction and I hope I've got this right. But... Bienvenue dans une autre épisode du podcast Trident. Je m'appelle Kevin et comme d'habitude, je ne suis pas seul ici. Aujourd'hui, je me sois avec Amdouchias. Yeah, perfect. it's great. Perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't use Google Translate though. So <laughs> this was pure, uh, pure skill. If it's used, it's okay. <laughs> it's, uh, how's the grammar? Uh, like, like the sentences, are they... The the sentence sentence is perfect. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, I'm gonna use this uh, more often, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> guys, welcome. Thanks for Thanks. having us. Thanks. Yeah, it's it's an honor to 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 have you guys here, and also because it's our first guests that are coming outside of the Netherlands. You had to drive a really, really long, long yeah. distance to get here. We're we're glad to. So <laughs> yeah, awesome. That's nice. How was the, how was the drive? Traffic, uh, and traffic, yeah, and, and traffic. traffic yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. the word, but instead of traffic, everything went well, so nice. Yeah, great, great. And and can you describe the feeling that, that you've experienced in the past few hours before you got here? Because you're here um, for Spectrum and Spoon Tech tomorrow and, and also doing a podcast, maybe the first time doing a podcast. Yeah. I let you start if you want. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the first time we do uh, a podcast and uh, it will be our first time uh, in the Netherlands. Yeah, it's tomorrow so, for Spectra. How would you describe the Netherlands? Oh, that's a difficult <laughs> question, but I think I'm gonna say that I really love this country um, because of the um, of the culture. You know, um, people are really open-minded here and always really nice with us. So I love this country. I love being here. I love uh, travel and discover some places. So yes, that's nice. Yeah, great. And And it's and, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's be- nice. It's yeah. great to hear. <laughs> and um, you're you're not here for uh, getting to know the culture, but also for music. Yeah. Is Netherlands also something that's really where where music really has a, has yeah, a platform? Yeah, and that was a, I was about to say. Uh, it's really different that in France for us because it's not the um, the same intensity with uh, with music and especially horn music in general. So that's why we also really love Netherlands because there is there is too much event uh, um, when we compare in, in than France and that's why we love to come here too. Yeah, hard dance music and especially hard style and and tempo also, but it's really really big here in the Netherlands and, and most of the hard style events are hosted hosted here in the Netherlands. Mm-hmm. In France, what what how do the French people look to hard dance? Is it really Is it upcoming? Is it underground? Or is it just it's under the carpet? I don't know if you agree with me, but it's it's a bit weird because it's a mix of all he said now. It's uh, a bit underground yeah. and a bit... Uh, upcoming, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It it depends from where where you go and what the organization is, sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, it's most, um, you have most event of other music, like house stuff, uh, electro stuff, and um, it's uh, more based on rap in France. The, the biggest uh, music genre is rap in France, so it's really hard to find uh, weekly events. I mean, if you're not agree, but no, I think it's, it's okay game, with it's that. It's the right description <laughs> from uh, music in our country. Exactly this. To be honest, I, I don't, I can't recall any French hard style. Uh, are, are there? You have Sojuice, Expros. So are they experience. friends? Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. from France. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, th- I thought they were were like German or something like. No, no, no. Is no, he no. French? They're French. Oh, jeez. And uh, Exilium. Exilium too. Yeah. Um, and Mazir, uh, Mazir. <laughs> <laughs> many uh, other artists, but um, smaller artists. Yeah, all right, great. And the uh, Ista, Ista, yes, yeah. Maybe, maybe it's just a lack of my my knowledge that uh, there aren't as big as as. Uh, she played on the main stage of uh, Master of Hardcore. She, uh, she's a hardcore artist. All right, not uh, not okay. art style. Cool. And what does it say about your career and how did you guys start? Because French is maybe a hard um, art area to, to really develop as a hard artist because there aren't opportunities laying at your at your doorstep. 
Um, how did you guys start and, and why Hardstyle? Uh, how can we start? Uh, by okay. the way we meet or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah so sure. Do you want to start with it or <laughs> I start with it? <laughs> so uh, it's a bit long to explain or but uh, we are uh, we have the passion of uh, Simprox and the uh, roller coasters and we met uh, on the messenger group uh, about uh, a roller coaster and we sent some tracks yeah, yeah. Um, we started to to have a discussion uh, only only two uh, and yeah we we find that we listen uh, listen to the same music and we started if, like this. If I can <laughs> take, um, we were in a in a massive group, uh, in a massive group about roller coasters and everything, and Roll, roller roller coasters yeah. like uh, theme park stuff, like in Wadi Holland uh, or oh, really? stuff like yeah, yeah, yeah. We are roller coasters <laughs> enthusiasts, and uh, that's one of our passion, and we love that, and we we meet with that, and we were in a massive group, like maybe 20, 25 people in it, yeah. and I don't know why we started talking music and. I just said, hey, I love hostile. And he was the only one to say, hey, me too. And then we, we just started to talk uh, by, by private message and we started to talk about it. And then uh, just wondering uh, when, we, when we saw each other, like, would be nice to do some music stuff one time. And we just started with random mix, just mixing for, for ourselves. And one day we was like, okay, let's try, let's go. And then we tried. It, it's it's one of the weirdest <laughs> stories <laughs> weird. I've heard about <laughs> how people come together, but it's also pretty unique. But so, maybe yeah. we can talk about how personal way we discovered Hostile, because uh, I think it's a really different way from you to me. Uh, maybe it's uh, the same. <laughs> I don't know. Back in the days uh, with jump style. Mm. Yeah, with uh, stuff like in, that. In France, uh, jump style uh, was uh, very, very big. And uh, yeah, I discovered we, uh, with it. Yeah, that was such a big movement, and especially from us because we're not n not too far, and there is a there is a nightclub called Complex Captain, and that was uh, and that's uh, still very famous. I can say I don't know. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. that's a famous club, and that was almost the only one uh, playing hard music. And that was like a goal to go there because we were young and we was like, okay, this is, a, this is the only place that we can hear this kind of music. And they were doing compilation with, uh, with stuff and everything. And we discovered by that. Uh, for me, it was when I was eight. I don't know for you. Uh, don't remember my age, but uh, it was like uh, in 27 or 28. Uh, almost the uh, same year. Yeah. Because it was... Yeah, tw uh, 2008 for me, I think. Yeah, yeah, so same yeah. year. It's really weird. But <laughs> Are you guys of the same age? No. 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 I'm 23. And 26. Yeah, all right, yeah. all right. Yeah. And and um, uh, what was the first track that really struck your heart um, with Hearthstone? Mm, FTS. FTS of your I yeah. think same, but um, uh, the first track that really mind blown me was D by Delete. Hmm. What was the year that, that uh, one got released? Uh, 2010? 10, 11? Uh, 10, 10. I can't remember. It was one of the first uh, Spoon yeah. Spoontech track. I think so it's the first. No. I don't know, but no, no. <laughs> it's one of the first. Yeah. Yeah, um, it, it's pretty convenient that uh, the Spectrum uh, party is tomorrow and this episode will be uploaded after. So if you're wrong about the first Spectrum <laughs> release, then you won't get bashed tomorrow. <laughs> so that's, uh, but but it's 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 both. It's a different kind of track because FTS by Showtech is kind of emotional with a with a pretty <laughs> groovy uh, drop, and and that one of the lead is kind of dark. Uh, is that something that you can both um, see in your tracks? That, that you are, um, um, for example, more melodic and and exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. He he always want to explore on uh, more melodic or dancing stuff, and I really love dark stuff. So, so we combine this. Yeah, we combine them. Yeah, it's a good combination yeah. uh, <laughs> so far. All right, so so you guys met each other in in a in a group. 
of uh, roller coaster exactly. freaks. Uh, what is it about roller coasters that really? Sorry, but what? what is it about roller coasters? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that you got yeah. interested to them. Yeah, exactly. But it's just uh, oh, why? Yeah, why? Oh, what why? is it? Because for me, it's just uh, a bunch of iron with with people in 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 cages rolling down. But <laughs> I what I can it? understand this uh, yeah. this feeling, but I don't know how to explain. But the the look, um, all the feeling you have when you're here, and yeah. all the um, I can sign scientist uh, things like uh, all the, the science, science stuff, thing. yeah, all the science technical technical things. Technical on, things. Or, yeah. It's really interesting, and there is a, a really strong game with the with the parks, uh, a lot of battles and everything for who's gonna have the the bigger one or the fastest one, and that's really interesting when you when you look at it. Yeah, yeah, because for me, it's like I said, it's just just a thing that that stands in a park, but you really dive deep into it. It's it's pretty mystical that it's it <laughs> and it's happen. understandable really yeah Amdusias where where does the name stand for <laughs> we have <laughs> and, another, and how did you guys came up with it <laughs> we have another passion in common is like all the horror stuff and everything we love horror movies and yeah, stuff um, like that occult things and uh, and all and uh, we had uh, another project before Amdusias uh don't really want to talk about it <laughs> uh, <move laughs> time. we we wanted to to turn the the page and um uh, have a new thing a better thing new thing and um a thing that uh, is better uh, representing us i think yeah, uh, yeah. and yeah and uh, i'm Lucius is a demon name it's uh Ambrusas is the music demon yeah oh really and, oh that's cool and we which work it was a great idea to go into this kind of stuff for a name and for an, a general atmosphere and it was like okay Ambrusas is the music demon so let's go for it yeah, it makes so much sense because I, I listened to your music uh, this week to kind of prepare and mm -hmm. kind of get a feeling of and also I, I always look at, at the, the progress that is made uh, throughout the tracks and it's always dark and and and, and but that's really cool. That we that's, try yeah. to combine a lot of different feelings in the tracks. We can we can do dancing stuff, but by keeping the the dark touch, and that's what we are trying to do because we both have um, different way to work and different inspiration. So we try to combine that, and I think it works. Yeah. I we're happy with it, so we're yeah, happy with it. It so. definitely works. I mean, if you um, look at the... Uh, people like it, so uh, yeah. I think it's okay. <laughs> yeah, if you look up at the streams of Mutilates, the, I mean, man, that's uh, half a million. If you put all those people on the field, you... you, you, you so many people, man. Yeah. Mutilates is such a story. Yeah, wow. and, <laughs> and Unknown? The Unknown too. Yeah. That, that was the second one, right? With, with 250 uh, yeah, streams, I guess. Um, maybe... It's the second one. If yeah. we on on Spotify, yeah, on Spotify, yeah, yeah, yeah on 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 the top five. Yeah. It's the second one on the, the second one, not, not the uh, second one released, but on Spotify, yes. But <laughs> we have another thing. <laughs> we did on, on the SoundCloud. Uh, we have uh, all alone. Uh, it's almost uh, one million streams. Really, it's <laughs> it's just a it's just a shitty uh, Freddy Dread edit. Yeah, <laughs> we we made it in like uh, two hours, but uh, TikTok. Like yeah, yeah, that was that was something I heard so from someone. Um, yeah, so, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, someone uh, found it uh, on TikTok, made a video. The video uh, had like uh, one million uh, this views. Goes so hard, yeah. and the streams uh, was like uh, were like yeah, going like straight. <laughs> we were like speechless to see this, and wow, we we're like yeah. uh, what happened? <laughs> you have to pinch yourself. Is it real? Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> the worst thing. Is that is more in the in the techno scene that this track goes hard and people uh, <laughs> think we are doing techno and we're not doing techno, but it's kind of funny when you look yeah. at it. So, yeah, how do you guys look at like look at that because it's 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 um, now from the last period or people are really really categorizing and boxing mm -hmm. uh, artists in 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 genres yeah. like oh he's hard techno he is uh, hard style how do you guys look at it because you make hard style but it gets labeled through uh, a few people as hard techno is it something you you bother or mm. 
not, not really. butter. It's not. It's not something bad, and it's not something good. Like for us, it's okay if people like the sounds we made. It's okay. Yeah. If if there is no hate, that's perfect. Yep. So yeah. Great. I'm gonna go back to the start of Amdushias. I've got a bit of a HD, ADHD brain, so I'm all over the place in a, in a conversation. So <laughs> uh, don't mind me if I'm if I'm gonna take a step back. Amdushias, you guys uh, message each other uh, about hardstyle, and then you decide let's uh, do something together. How, how how does it work for you guys to sit together in the studio? How did you guys start, and mm. and when was this? Uh, really, uh, for example, the first track, the first time you you had the feeling of whoa, this this could be something. Uh, I had a solo act uh, before I'm this yes, and uh, I did my own tracks, but it was <laughs> some kind of bad. <laughs> but uh, it was not a uh, art style or raw. It was a uh, French core. All right. Yep. So totally different. And uh, I showed to Lucas some thing uh, on uh, FL Studio. And uh, he was like, oh, okay. I learned, uh, no, uh, I show him to how to mix. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, the, let's go. <laughs> the thing he had, his soul hack before. And I was like really interested about that. I was like, okay, I would love to try this. And I was wondering when can we start it? And we were like pushing this uh, for, for tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Yeah. And one day we was like, okay. Let's yeah. go for it. And I think it was uh, almost four years ago to make this really, really serious thing. Yeah, yeah. We, we did a v- our very first set uh, at my birthday. It was a oh. private body. Uh, and we were drunk. <laughs> 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 but it was okay. Uh, it was my first time mixing. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was uh, his first time. And then uh, we, we told, like, okay, let's go. Yeah, we uh, we have to to make it happen. We had a feeling when while mixing together, and we we just think, okay, we can do something with this feeling behind the decks together. And the the first plan was just to mix, and we just realized that you can do something by just mixing. We want we always wanted to produce music, and we just pushed it to tomorrow again and again yeah. and yeah almost four years ago it was like okay let's start to produce and as he he was producing before he helped me a lot to learn everything and I learned with him and now uh, no, it's, uh... it's very natural <laughs> it's very natural because when he have an ID when I have an ID it match always yeah. so it's funny because it all started behind the decks mm. um yeah. uh, mixing together on a, on a wedding and I think that kind of energy that you felt uh, between each other but that also the, the joy that you shared to to play music um, that's something you, you you can see back in the in the studio yeah the, yeah, the, 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 yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. we complete uh, ourselves yeah. we are like uh, Lego <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah when uh, when I uh, don't uh, don't do something you, you do uh, you do <laughs> and uh, when he doesn't, I do. Yeah. What are the downsides of of, of producing together? Because the 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 uh, the upsides are if you're inspired and he is, then uh, you can get out of your writer's block by his ideas. But what are the downsides of working together? Um, like downsides. What do you mean by downsides? Well, uh, the, the good thing about being together oh, okay. is is that you yeah. can help each other but what is the bad thing about uh, being a, a duo as a uh, as an artist uh, i think is um different schedules like yeah. we we don't do the same things in our personal life so that's really difficult to always um match it mm. yeah. to work um, always together so we most of the time we're working alone, like doing our stuff, and then sending back and again and again. I like think, a collab. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's the that's the downside. Not yeah. always being uh, at the same time on the projects. Um, when something go wrong with the track, is it takes uh, longer to fix it, and, and things the, can be longer. That's the downside. And the thing that we we are living uh, at like uh, one and a half hour each other. Yeah, we the. we don't work a lot <laughs> together 
at the in the same studio it's always yeah. uh, by call or stuff like that oh, really? yeah, on right. but we try to do it like once a month um like doing a, a big big studio day and uh, looking at all the projects but uh as the thing are matching really well by working and doing the tracks is it's not that bad no it's good. Because uh, for the for the spectrum preps for for example, I think yeah. we met like three times. Yeah. On yeah. the yeah three times for but, the spectrum uh, preps. And but yeah, we we called uh, on Discord uh, maybe almost every, every day. <laughs> yeah, every day. <laughs> we try to like even if it's fifteen or twenty or thirty minutes, we we always try to be in constant with it and yeah. and keep this keep this thing. Yeah, you don't have to see each other every day, but you you are every day in, in contact with each yeah, other. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the spectrum of Spuntech preparations. Um, how long did it take? And and how how do you guys start? Because it's the first time uh, you're gonna perform on a uh, on a on, in a venue. Mm -hmm. It's the first time here in the Netherlands. Uh, that must be pretty special. How did you guys? Uh, we started to work on it uh, since we know that we are playing there. And that was in uh, February, I think. Um, no, no, before, before. Uh, no, uh, um, February remember. or March. Yeah, something like remember. that. But the thing is that as we were working for preparing this, we was always working like, let's do tracks. We want to improve everything. And we we have a lot of projects started. And when we knew that we're going to pay from to Spectrum or Spuntech, we were like, okay, we have all those projects Let's take, I don't know, maybe 10 and trying to improve a lot, finish the tracks, make them ready. And yeah, it takes months. Uh, it was yeah. stressful. Yeah. Really stressful <laughs> because we we really wanted to have to have the quality required. And yeah. uh, the uh, we we wanted to to bring you uh the the perfect set. Yeah. Uh I, I know um uh, No, nobody can be uh, that perfect, but we want it. Uh, so we work a lot on the tracks and on the track list. We we made uh, um, yeah uh, almost uh, the perfect tr track list. The track choice was really really <laughs> hard to find. Yeah. You guys are melting when you're thinking back on that moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and It's the good. thing is that it wasn't the best year for us on the on the personal side especially for me <laughs> and that was really hard to manage too because uh, all the personal things and then the spoon take preparations that was really really hard but here we are and I think yeah. we can be proud of ourselves yeah. we can we can yeah yeah definitely how, how did you manage that uh, dealing with the personal stuff and then uh, because I don't want to add the pressure but uh, you're not opening you're almost closing the yeah. area too So, so it has to be like like <laughs> you well, are closing your eyes when I, <laughs> when I say it. It has to be almost perfect. Yeah, perfect doesn't really exist. In my we opinion, have, but we have both different ways to manage uh, the pressure and especially the personal things. For me, it's uh, being with my friends and my family, just trying to make make things uh, happen correctly and take a look back at, at all those situations, like trying to put things off and trying to do things at the time like music time and not mixing all the on the things that's weird the way I explain that but I don't know how to explain it really <laughs> yeah, do, do you mean that that you you are busy with music and then the mixing comes after instead of no I, I mean um, dealing with the personal issue for example yeah. is like I'm trying to when I'm doing music I'm doing music and right. anything yeah. is... And when I'm with my friend, I'm trying to not thinking about the music and when I'm working, is the same. And that's, I think that's my way to, to deal with that. For you, it's different. No, it's almost the, the same. When, uh, when I do music, it's like uh, a work. Uh, not really a work, but um, it's like I'm, I'm working. Mm. Uh, and when I'm with my family and friends, uh, I'm not thinking about uh, music. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not yeah. really. It's, I am uh, al always like. Uh, it's oh, real logic. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's real logic to say that, but it helps 
a lot to think like that, I think. Uh, trying to put things off when you have to put things off. And yeah. Yeah, so sometimes uh, you have to, to disconnect. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's it sounds pretty pretty simple though, but mm. it's quite it's complicated. Simple, yeah. yeah, but it's it's quite healthy because when you're with your friends and you can't change uh, the music. <laughs> <laughs> there was a was a cat. For, yeah, uh, <laughs> it happens. Oh, it cat, happens. <laughs> no, but if you're busy with the music, of if you're busy with friends, you can't change the the, the tracks in the studio so it, it doesn't help to to think about yeah. it because you can't control it in a moment so it's it's quite helpful yeah, and like working on the track uh help us to forget all the personal issues too yeah. it's like a infinite circle you know right yeah yeah great what what, what do the people that attend um spectrum spoon tomorrow what can they expect from your set I hope they survive so they cakes. can watch the episode. <laughs> but um, what? Um, of course, uh, gated cakes. And gated a cakes. lot of gated cakes. A lot, a lot of, gated, of gated, yeah. gated cakes. And darkness. And uh, gated. Energy. <laughs> energy, yeah. Energy. We want to do um, a really energetic set because that's what we love when everything is going, not fast, but the track is going and going and going yeah. and going. We're, we, yeah. don't, we're, we don't want to, to bring a, a set, but we want to bring a show. Yeah, an experience. experience. An experience. An experience. An experience. Yeah. Exactly. That's the right word. Yeah. We, we want to people be like, uh, what the? F what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just happens. Yeah. We want to we want to shock people and, and in the positive way. Yeah, yeah. positive <laughs> way and yeah. made them remember that okay, we have saw them mix and that was like that. Wow, and that's our plan. Yeah, especially the and part. especially bringing how how atmosphere and everything because we have. Um, not um, a really unique way to produce track and a really unique um, render. I don't know if I can say that. I'm sorry for my bad English. <laughs> no, no, no problem. It, We have um, a really unique render. Like our tracks are different than all the other artists. Like when you listen to other artists, you you can find um, similar things uh, on the atmospheres on the on the construction or stuff like that and we we really try to bring how way to produce and how style our atmosphere and that's why we want to bring tomorrow especially yeah can you can you because all the artists believe that they have something special um, and I always believe that what can you describe what is it about the Amdusia's uh, experience that is different to other tracks for example because i have listen, listened to, to a few of them so i've got a clue about where you're going but for the people that haven't listened to you yet what how do you describe your style and why why is it so unique in your opinion mm. the inspirations i think yeah we are we're trying to to find inspirations and especially on the atmospheres, if I repeat, uh, we really try to bring something different and uh, something that, that can change a lot. We can bring something really dark and then something really dancing by keeping this dark and it's this combination that's make our style unique, I think. Mm, I think too, yeah. Uh, but yeah, to talk about uh, or experience inspirations thanks <laughs> <laughs> sorry sorry no no it's not it's not a pr <laughs> it uh, our foreign language we so. have a lot of uh, of uh, thing to yeah uh, <laughs> we have a lot of thing things He's tired with travel <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and I sure no problem it's, it's, it's a six hour drive yeah, it's uh, totally so, fine yeah. <laughs> take care, no, it's take okay it's okay uh We want to to bring some some uh, elements from different styles in one track, uh, like uh, hard rock, uh, rap, uh, and horror every movies. Style, <laughs> yeah. Every but, style but, you can find, and everything like video games or movies, yeah, video games, uh, TV series. It can be everything, and I think that's what it make our style and our tracks unique. I think, yeah. Yeah, and in in your tracks, there's always something going on. When I listen to it, there's always a rumble. There's always a sound. It's never flat. Your sounds. It's it's, yeah. it's that's why uh, we try to bring. It's quite dynamic. There's always yeah. something that that keeps you moving. Yeah. So uh, that's the plan. That's that's the plan. Yeah. That's the goal. That's the destination. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Great. 
So your set is going to be uh, shocking in a good way. I think. I'd say. I hope. Will well, the we people's... hope. We hope. <laughs> yeah. Will the people survive it? Mm, not sure. <laughs> uh, not sure. <laughs> Especially with the track list we have prepared from the beginning to the end. And yeah. <laughs> what is your your mixing style? Because um, some some DJs are mixing quite fast and they put uh, 40 tracks in like 20 minutes. For for example, it's a bit. It's almost the same thing. We yeah. really try yeah, to tomorrow. bring um, fast, fast, yeah, fast. fast and fast. Um, but with keeping the um, the most important uh, part of the tracks. Yeah. Not uh, playing uh, maybe uh, the first drop and then uh, okay uh, next track. We yeah, don't we, want to play fast to play fast. We, don't, we want to play fast and make this work with what we want to play. And we really st- we we are really studying uh, when we are doing stuff like that for. For sporting, we we have a lot of mashups. Mm-hmm. We have made a lot of mashups, but we we haven't made just mashups for making those. We really thinking about it and studying it, and that's why we we love to play fast. Yeah. But um, with the with the smart touch, like because um, especially in France, uh, there is a lot of people uh, that plays without producing and just playing at some venues and doing mm. stuff. Yeah. And they just play fast and doing random mashups and then drop them like, uh, hey, I've played 60 tracks in one hour and here you go. And we love this idea of playing fast and playing a lot of things, but we want to do it uh, smartly. And yeah. that's what we, yeah, we, we have tried to bring for tomorrow. We, we want a logic set. Um, like uh, the set is telling a story. Something like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we want it logic, not uh, random. I don't know if you you see what I mean. <laughs> yeah, a bit. I was a bit... I thought I heard a noise. I was a bit... Uh, <laughs> my, my mind went all over the place. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about the the the, uh, the tracks that have been released. Oblivion was the first one that really got by the label, if I'm correct. Yeah. The exactly. first four were self-released. Uh, yeah. yeah, correct. And uh, what is the difference between a label and uh, releasing on your own? And what tips do you have for people that start producing hard style and and uh, the track aren't accepted yet by a label, but they want to self uh, release? Do you have any tips for for those guys that are struggling? Uh, if we want to to self release, we can at every moment. Uh, <laughs> No, 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 but uh, let me uh, explain. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, if we want, if you want to, to self-release, uh, you can do it. Uh, you can have the better track or the more, uh, a more um, worked track, you yeah. can. But if you want to release on a lab- uh, label, you have to have a, a quality. Yeah. And it's an important thing. You have to work on the quality of the, uh, quality of the track. That's what we learned by self release. Like uh, for us, self release was really important because they permitted uh, they permitted us to to know what is the quality required for a label, mm. and that's why it's important for us. And that's why the first tracks are self released. And I think we will still do some self release in, uh, yeah. in the future. Uh, yeah. In the in the future, uh, if you have some project that we want to drop, it can be a self release uh, because it can help us to know uh, what quality do we have to reach for a label. So that's why we have some. I think it's pretty cool because you don't hear that often that guys that have been uh, releasing by a label still releases themselves. So that, uh, I think at, it's pretty bold. At the moment, uh, we are not signed in any lab- uh, label. It's a no. guest release, so we yeah. still can. Yeah, still the, can. The, the track is signed. You guys are not. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what exactly. exactly. Yeah. And yeah. that's why it's Excuse important for us because uh, as we are not signed and that's the goal, but yeah. as we are not at the moment, it's really important to us that still doing stuff like that and it permits us to know, okay, uh, we, have, we have done this project. For us, it's okay, but it, it cannot be for a label. So that's the tips I have to, do, to give, like, if you're not sure, just say for this, ask feedback. Feedback is really important too. Yeah. It can be a really, really nice feedback to say for this and it can help for have the quality request for a label. Great. Then the track with Chapter 5 comes around. 
How did, how did yeah, you guys are both uh, <laughs> really lifting up right now. This track is such, uh, such a story, it's such a crazy one for us. I'm really yeah. curious. How did it? How did it start? I mean, first shout out to Jordi. Yeah, <laughs> because yeah. Uh, this track uh, won't uh, won't have been created without him. Um, it was at the beginning of the hack. Uh, they had already released some stuff. No, uh, at the very beginning, uh, we uh, they, uh, Jordi, uh, Jordi sent us um, Evoque. Yeah, and it was not released yet, and we played it uh, in a live. Uh, because it was uh, during COVID, I yeah, think. It was yeah, the lockdown in France. Yeah. Uh, so we played it. Uh, we played it uh, in a live, and we are like, uh, okay, we will very, have a very good track. Uh, we want to do something with with them. And you already make the contact between between us between uh, us and Chapter Five. Yeah, and he was like, okay, those guys are gonna sign with Spuntech. Uh, I know that you guys want to to be with Spuntech because it's our goal, it's our dream to be with Spuntech. And it was like, I think you can do something together because they they got a really really nice way to work and a really nice uh, idea of the hacked. And we we just started to talk together and was like, okay, let's do a track together. And they were like, let's do something between. Uh, the perfect balance between us uh, and and them so something dark and dancing and melodic and then mutilate uh, was born yeah and this track <laughs> um, goes really hard <laughs> there was like uh, i don't know but many many versions <laughs> yeah they had uh, even a um, uh, dunk me uh, dunk me uh, version <laughs> and goofy version <laughs> <laughs> yeah we we have we have struggled a bit with mutilate but I think is the track I'm I'm the most proud of. I yeah. think for you too because yeah, yeah it's such a, it's such an achievement. Is the is the first track uh, played uh, in big events for us? Uh, is the track uh, that have the most of streams? So, yeah, yeah, half a million. Yeah, that's yeah, almost. That's insane, and yeah, and that was really nice to work with them because uh, everything went natural, and. Yeah, that was such an experience, and we learned a lot from them. So yeah. we are we are really grateful, and we are really happy with the result of Mutilate. Uh, how did you guys work together? Because uh, you're in France, uh, they're by in, call. <laughs> it's just by call, Discord, yeah. <laughs> on Discord, yes. Yeah, yeah. But uh, one time they they came uh, at my home. Oh really? And yeah. We have recorded um, a clap long session. That's uh, that's one of our concepts. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Just doing a, doing a clap long set with uh, some guests or just alone, and they came and uh, mutually it was already done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. Released, uh, but already done. It was not the final version, but the previous one. Uh, previous one. And, right. uh, yeah. yeah, we we drank some beers. Uh, and we have discussed a lot of the track. Yeah, and we the way to go on the on the track and everything. Yeah. So yes, it was uh, mostly on calls, but uh, we have talk uh, talk about the track uh, when we have saw at this place and when we saw them at at events and everything. We we're talking a bit about the collab, especially at DefCon last year. Yeah. We have talked about about uh, we have talked a lot about Mutilate. Yeah, and yes, it was mostly by call, but. Uh, that was a really good communication between us, and that was nice. Yeah, that's re really an, uh, important. The the club long sessions, those are uh, your gems. His idea. Did did the guests <laughs> always come by? No, because uh, I oh, no. I no. Uh, I saw I just also made a made a session. The, two the years ago, I guess only guys who who came are chapter five. All right, yeah. All the rest was like just discussing about the concept and uh, recording a set, and we was putting the sets together. And yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, uh, it, it was your idea, clap long session. <laughs> because exactly. uh, for the first uh, first clap long session, uh, we did it uh, only only us, and then we asked us uh, the very first guest was uh, insurgent yeah uh we did it with him uh, but uh, it was uh, like uh, two different set sets uh in one but uh, we didn't uh, play the b2b mm. and then with uh, adjust and was the uh, same way to yeah uh, the, the smiler the smiler 
Yes. And then chapter five. Yeah. And now the plan is uh, because we haven't made the clapping session since the one with chapter five. Yeah. And we were really uh, focused on the on the tracks. And now we want to we want to push this concept yeah. more and uh, do some real B 2 B sets for this and do this better, do better ones and uh, push the concept more, doing B 2 Bs and yeah. train concept with it. We just have to think how we can manage this, but it will be a, a nice idea. Yeah, we we want to to bring it back. Yeah. The plan is to bring it back uh, in a in a different way. So yeah, in a new jacket. Yeah, exactly. In new, in touch so, with a new yash. So tell us in the comment uh, if you want to to do us to to bring it back. Yeah, just <laughs> if you want to bring it back, then yeah. uh, like and subscribe and uh, exactly <laughs> come <and> subscribe <laughs> to Twitter. And, and the, and the, but yeah. it's quite funny that that's, uh, the first guest was Insurgent, yeah. and that's all, also the collaborator on on your latest release, uh, yeah. Spoon Spoon EP. Yeah. Yeah. Die. Die. Lovely track. How, how did did it also went smooth with chapter yeah, five? The, really the communication really and the even faster than the, the collab with chapter <laughs> five. Uh, the collab was almost ready uh, at the Spectrum last year. Uh, he played it. Uh, yeah. He prom- premiered yeah. the, it last year. I wasn't there because he wasn't there, uh, I worked. <laughs> he wasn't at, at the last Spectrum, but the. I think we have started the collab two weeks before the last Spectrum edition. And it was oh, like, okay, <laughs> let's start this collab. But we was like, it will never be ready for the Insurgent set at a, at Spectrum. But it was. And it was like, okay, let's premiere this at the as the last track of the set. And it was like, okay, two weeks for a collab, that's nice. And the track was ready. And we <laughs> we just changed, uh, changed some minor elements. And the track is... Uh, some details. Right. Yeah, just it was some a, details, but the track was really, really, really fast. <laughs> it was really smooth to work yeah, with that, Insurgent. It won't happen uh, that often that the, tracks will, that the track will be done in, in two weeks. Yeah. Especially a collaboration, because we you always so. want to... <laughs> Want to twitch something? The future of Amdusias, because you guys are going home. Uh, it's Sunday, yeah, I yeah. think. Then you're back in your country and and in a whole different world. And, and this weekend was was also a different mm-hmm. world for you guys, where a dream came a bit true, I guess. <laughs> What what what's what's next? The plan is to still work hard and make this happen again and again and again. That's the plan. We want to make this happen again. We yeah. want to work hard and that's the plan. Yeah, you know it's possible, right? I mean, yeah. look at you. We're here in the Netherlands yeah. in yeah. the podcast <laughs> and then uh, traveling towards Spectrum tomorrow. So yeah, the plan is to make this happen again and work on the quality, improve the tracks. Have other collabs because we love collabs. To be honest, it's <laughs> yeah, really really yeah. nice to work with other artists because you can learn a lot and you can laugh a lot too. Because <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that's really funny to work with with someone else and trying stuff. And the plan is just to keep it going because we love doing music. We love that. And uh, yeah, that's and the plan. The, the final goal is to sign. The final goal. Yeah, what is yeah. the biggest dream? Sign uh, with Spoon Tech. Sign with Spoon Tech. That's that's all right. That's the goal. Yeah, there's no <laughs> negotiation. You guys but both. That's, you don't that's even look want. at each other. You know it. That's what we want. And the plan is to work hard for that. Yeah. And then we will see. Um, collab in the future, if you have to, to pick one, one artist. Only it, one. It, it, it can be anyone. It's just really for uh, imagination. I think we agree on this one. <laughs> yeah. Let me say well, it. Yeah, yeah. I, I count down and then you guys have to say it. Uh, Cruelty. Yeah. Cruelty, yes. Cruelty. Right. Yeah, we will love his 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 vibe in the track. His universe is insane. Like his concept in his his universe is insane, and it would be a dream collab. Yeah, <laughs> but we have a lot of artists with who we want to work, and we will see. I've got three more questions for you. You have to choose, or you're never are able anymore to produce, or never have sex anymore. <laughs> I know, I know there are some people there, so you have to choose wisely, though. Whoa. Because you have to go the whole weekend with... Uh... Oh, wow, uh, let me think, uh, like, uh, 10 a... minutes, yeah. and I come back uh, with... Uh... 
I saw them. Come up with a strategy. How can I saw them laughing right there? <laughs> how can I be honest and survive this weekend? <gasps> well, we're not leaving until we have an answer. So um, take your time. <laughs> Never have sex anymore. <laughs> I think I, pr yeah. I prefer to push as my dream. <laughs> like <laughs> that's the dream. So if I have to choose, I, I prefer to keep doing music. <laughs> But uh, I think that's sexy that's is good. <laughs> say that. <laughs> well, hey, we, we said produce. Hey, you can produce and you can perform. So then, then we're all good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, next question. Never produce or never perform? Oh. 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 Never perform for me. Because I really love producing music. Uh, It's uh, it's really enjoyable. Uh, the time is going really fast by producing music, and I love that learning stuff and everything. So yeah. if I have to choose, uh, I would prefer to to work on music and doing my stuff. Joining the the previous point, you produce and I perform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty. This is the most boring one, so I I, I probably had to start with this one. But uh, indoor or outdoor festivals? Oh, good outdoor question. for me. Yeah. Yeah, as a visitor or as a because oh. because you you are pretty dark with uh, with the music vibe. So out uh, indoor would suit you better. I yeah, guess exactly. your music but but I love the outdoor vibe. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh as visitor I prefer yeah uh, outdoor. Because but, uh, yeah. only for one thing. <laughs> Main stage. Euphoric art style. Beer friends. Yeah, uh, they are done. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> the vibe, all all those things. I I really prefer the outdoor vibe too. Yeah, definitely. But uh, indoors are sick. Yeah, yeah, it's sick too. But uh, I prefer outdoor. Like you can breathe better. You can you can see yeah. everything. It's yeah. it's really nice. Yeah. I want to thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for having us. And uh, that was you. really really nice. <laughs> I wish you all the best tomorrow. Good luck Thanks. and really. Besides the tension, the, the the stress, just enjoy it and uh, take it all in. That's the plan. Thanks yeah, a lot. Thanks, really. thanks, thanks for having us. Yeah. That was insane. <laughs> no problem. See you next year. Yeah. See you next year. Great. <laughs>